Hello everyone, today in our series of Docplex SQL interviews, we are honored to have with us Dr. Bhim Singhal, who is the Director of Neurology at Bombay Hospital Institute of Medical Sciences in Mumbai. Dr. Singhal has devoted himself to the research of Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis since the last 60 years. Dr. Singhal's work is very well recognized. He is a recipient of prestigious B.C. Roy Award and has authored over 200 research publications in reputed medical journals. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. You're welcome. So, you've been associated with your Neurology Foundation for almost 20 years. Can you brief us about this initiative and share your experience as a founder and chairperson? Indeed. Our, we did it in 1996 with the motto of knowledge and care. From the point of view of the knowledge, every alternate year, we invite the best of the neurologists, the pioneers in neurology from overseas. And nearly last conference, 1140 neurologists from all over India participated. It's purely an academic program, a form of continuing medical education. In addition, we also have been training the physicians because there are not enough neurologists in all of India to cater the needs of this large population. And therefore, we are also training the physicians in neurological diseases for the primary care. In addition, as many of the deprived people living in the slum area do not even get awareness about the neurological diseases, we are sending our team to train the Gram Sevikas to go from house to house to find out people afflicted with these diseases and help them with finances, with also the care and arrange their hospital visits. And we support them to the maximum. We are going to Dharavi. We are also going to the tribal area in Western Gujarat. We are also going to Vasin, which is near Nasik. So in fact, we have multiple activities. We are also giving support in the form of finances to several societies, like a multiple sclerosis society, like the Epilepsy Association of India, the Bombay chapter. We are also giving to Parkinson's disease and movement disorder society. We have also initiated a disease like Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And we are trying the maximum care for these. We have uh, therefore tried to see how we can take care of the patient with neurological diseases increase awareness and also educate the physicians and bring the update, latest knowledge to the Indian neurologists who naturally cannot always travel overseas where even the registration is so expensive. Uh, that's a great initiative, sir. So you, based on your vast experience, can you elaborate the reasons for misdiagnosis of multiple sclerosis and how best they can be avoided? Well, actually, you know, I think the diagnosis of multiple sclerosis, there's no diagnostic test. There are, you know, nowadays we have the criteria called it the McDonald revised criteria of 2010. MRI forms an important feature. Unfortunately, what happens is that there are many other spots looking like the multiple sclerosis on the MRI, which can be misinterpreted like you know, demyelinating disease due to multiple sclerosis. And I think it has to be differentiated. In fact, that sort of a non-important uh, non white spots can be far more common than the typical lesions in, seen in multiple sclerosis. There are also other diseases like vasculitis. There are other diseases of the white matter diseases which can be often mistaken for multiple sclerosis and treated as such. The CSF test of oligoclonal band done accurately with the correct technique can be positive in about 70 to 80 percent of patients, but it is not pathognomonic of the disease because it can also be seen with other immunological disorders. So you have been also managing the Parkinson's disease and movement disorder society since the past 16 years. So can you brief us about your experience and challenging in manage, challenges in managing the same? Most certainly. I was inducted into the management of Parkinson's disease and care 
by the World Health Organization when we had a working group on Parkinson's disease. In 2001, I registered the society along with my colleagues. And in 2003, we had the International Symposium on Parkinson's disease where we invited 40 international experts to Mumbai. And we also were the, were the first to launch the global declaration declaring the rights of the Parkinson's disease patients for the governments to recognize them. Now we have 48 support centers in five states of India. But we want to enlarge the scope to practically all parts of India. We now have nearly 32 dedicated staff to try and do the services for these patients, which include physiotherapy, speech therapy, dance therapy, group physiotherapy. And uh, this uh, society is uh, helping a lot to the patients. We have impacted nearly 50,000 patients so far. Our next move is to start one chapter in Rajasthan, in Jodhpur. And therefore, gradually we'll expand these services. Patients' uh, feedback has been very, very positive. They come and tell us that, uh, look, you know, I think drugs help to a certain extent, but this society gives us a reason to live. We know others are suffering. We interact with these people, and we really, really adore all the help that has been provided by these. So we really appreciate your hard work in this direction. Just one last question. What are your views on knowledge, online knowledge sharing platform for doctors like Docplex? Well, I think it would be very, very useful indeed because I think, uh, of course, there are multiple choices that they have, but the sort of platform that you are creating will be immensely useful for all the doctors. Thank you very much for this initiative. Thank you so much, sir, okay. for this interview. To stay updated on our latest KOL videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy Doc Flexing!